Welcome to Cooking with Dr. Sonu. Hi, I'm so glad you guys came and chose to watch me today. I apologize for not being able to film for the last several months. As you know, I'm a small business owner. I work at a kid's dental office. Lately, I've been working five days a week. My schedule has changed, so I apologize. Also a mom and so busy with my kids' activities and everything that entails. So for all you people that have stayed subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I will get back into it. So today we are making a French onion soup. This is my vegan French onion soup. As you know, I like to use clean ingredients. I like to do dairy-free cooking. So this is my French onion soup. I hope you all love it. My kids love this recipe and here we have it today. Thank you to my awesome neighbors, Ash and Xinhua, for taking my boys to the movies today. I truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. All right, so we're gonna be using some onions. French onion soup, command onions. So here I have some sweet onions. These are the Walla Walla Washington sweet onions. You need four to five onions. We're gonna use some dry white cooking yuck cooking wine. This is my Sauvignon Blanc. This will help deglaze my Le Creuset pot right here. Um, we're also going to need some vegetable stock. So if you actually have mushroom stock, please use mushroom stock. I don't have any today, so I'm doing a shortcut. I'm using vegetable stock and in order to get that wonderful umami flavor from the mushrooms, I've actually taken some dried porcini mushrooms and I've soaked them in some hot water for the last three hours. Now this is going to have some wonderful umami elements. That mushroom meaty flavor will be incorporated in this stew. This is more of a stew than a soup. Um, I'm also going to use a little bit of umami powder. So umami powder again is all natural. It's made from mushrooms. This is MSG free. You must try this. Just a teaspoon of it in your soup takes it to the next level. All vegan, all natural. Finally, two finishing elements. I'm going to use some vegan Worcestershire sauce. Here it is. As you know, regular Worcestershire sauce has anchovies in it. I'm trying to support this vegan one. It's delicious. Buy it. You can buy it on Amazon. That's where I bought mine. Finally, some balsamic vinegar for the win. This is a sweetened Modena balsamic vinegar. Get any balsamic that you would dip in bread, it's good enough for that. All right, let's get started. Finally, a little bit of garlic. I got three cloves of garlic and that's it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and chop my onions. I'm gonna chop one and then we'll take a short break and we'll start tossing it into our um, Dutch oven right here. So you need a big soup pot, use any one that you have Welcome back, people. Okay, so I've coarsely chopped my Walla Walla sweet onions. Here they are. Keep it nice and coarse. You don't need finely chopped onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss this into my oil. Now, what kind of oil do we wanna use? You have to use an oil that has a high cooking point, meaning a high temperature. You don't want these onions to burn prematurely. So avocado oil, excellent or olive oil not extra virgin olive oil just olive oil it has a high cook it has a high smoke point that's what you want so any oil with a high smoke point will do i'm going to go ahead and toss these in that's all my onions and, the, and this should be on medium heat okay so medium heat I'm going to give this a toss. Just going to add a little bit more olive oil. I've probably used a quarter of a cup. So 
for these many onions and the fact that we're not using any butter or any saturated fats, definitely use a little bit more olive oil. You want these to cook nicely. So I'm gonna, every five minutes, I'm gonna give this a stir. After about 20 minutes, you'll start to see it caramelizing. It may need more time, depending on the temperature and the type of onion. So, so they're nice and caramelized. You can take a look. Here they are. They're great. So I'm gonna take my wooden spoon. And these are perfectly caramelized. They're getting there. These are not burnt. These are awesome. And you, if you can tell, these have kind of reduced in volume. Okay, these look great. Okay, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar. This is just Demerara cane sugar. I'm going to add it in. It's going to help them caramelize a little bit more. For another five minutes. So five more minutes. After that, we're gonna deglaze our pan. So go get your, your wine, your white wine, any dry white wine, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, will help deglaze the pan. It's gonna help take all the little bits from the ends and kind of allow them to incorporate with the bulk of it. So five more minutes, you're getting there. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and just mince my garlic here. So here's my garlic, I got about three cloves right here. I'm just going to mince it up. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add this garlic in after about five minutes, stir it for about two to three minutes. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and deglaze our pan. So we're gonna add six cups of stock to this. So each of these cubes is about two cups of water. So make sure you have about six, six cups of stock. Vegetable stock, ideally mushroom stock is best. If you can't find it, vegetable stock will do. Anything vegetarian. Okay, this looks great. So that teaspoon of sugar, you can kind of tell has added a little bit more moisture in here. These look great. So I'm happy with this. This looks great to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. There it is. In goes my garlic. I'm gonna let this garlic cook down for about two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we are adding about a cup of our white wine. Now, after our white wine, we're actually gonna need a little bit of flour, and I'll tell you why. So it's been three minutes, the sugar that I added is gonna help expedite that chemical reaction of caramelization. It'll just help speed it up. So we're gonna go ahead, take a quick peek, if you look in here, these look great. Darker than before, nice and brown. Definitely add a teaspoon of sugar to help. Yeah, I like this, this looks awesome. Okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze my pan. So in goes about a cup of white wine. Get your measuring cup if you need to measure it. Okay, that's about one cup of white wine. Okay, your heat should be medium low at this point. Let the wine cook out for about two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour. Um, I'm using some whole wheat flour, whatever flour you have on hand, add it. It's just going to help thicken this up so it's more of a stew and not a soup. The 
it smells so great. You can smell the acidity from that wine, the sweetness of the, of the onions. It's really coming together quite nicely and the house smells lovely. And if I look on the bottom of my pot, I don't notice any of those bits here anymore. That wine has helped release a lot of the onions that were to the bottom of the pot. So it looks great. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna add my flour, add two tablespoons of flour. There's one, there's two. I'm gonna give this a mix. Make sure there's no visible flour areas. Dissolve it all. Okay, this looks great. Next, we are ready for our stock. So to this, I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetable broth. So I'm gonna add six, six cups of water so here are my cubes of vegetable broth stock. There they are. I'm also gonna add that umami rich mushroom broth I had reserved from a few hours ago. It was just porcini mushrooms and I had filled it with about a cup and a half of water. So I'm gonna factor that in to my six cups. So I'm gonna add some water for my broth right here. I'm gonna add about four and a half, and then I'm going to use one and a half cups of my mushroom stock from that from the porcini mushrooms. Great. Give that a mix. Okay, and then here's that one and a half cups of my mushroom water. There it is. I'm gonna add it in. Great. Finally, I'm gonna add my bay leaves. Here they are, two bay leaves. I'm gonna also add half a teaspoon of my umami powder. So again, this is just made from mushrooms. Adds this wonderful flavor. There it is, in it goes. And then I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of salt. So my vegetable broth is under salted, so I like to add a little bit more salt. Um, and then you may wonder why this is purple, this is violet salt, it's infused with a little bit of red wine. Use whatever salt you have. Himalayan sea salt is perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. The onions are cooked just fine. I just want it all to kind of come together. Welcome back. Okay, so the soup, soup has been cooking for about 15 minutes in that broth, in the umami powder, the bay leaves, and this is what it currently looks like. We're done. This looks perfect to me. I love these layers. You can see these onions. So wonderful. That's great. Okay, so the last part is to add a tablespoon of some vegan Worcestershire sauce, which will take this to the next level. Finally, two teaspoons of a sweet balsamic. Just gonna finish it. So, tablespoon of this. Perfect. And finally, two teaspoons of this balsamic. And two. I'm gonna give this a stir and we're ready to plate. Voila, all done. Now, traditional French onion soups definitely have cheese on the top. It's usually a piece of baguette, French bread. 
Um, and then you can put either Swiss cheese or Gruyere cheese. The combo of Swiss, which melts really, really nicely, and Gruyere, which has that nice bite, um, adds a wonderful finish if you want cheese in it. I try to limit dairy um, at all times, so I don't want any cheese in my soup today. Um, but by all means, if that tickles your fancy, by all means, please use it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some soup for myself. And this is super hot, so be careful. I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of parsley for color. And then I love finishing my soups and stews with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I love it. I love the fruity finish. I think it really complements this soup, the stew. Um, so I'm just going to add like a splash. Perfect. All right. All right. Best part. I get to try this plant-based French onion vegan soup. So here it is. I'm going to try. Mm. This is delicious. I can taste the sweetness from the balsamic vinegar. You can also taste the sweetness from that sugar, that teaspoon of sugar I added. Um, I would add a little bit more salt, uh, but the flavors are absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try an onion. Mm. These onions are sweet, salty. It's like the perfect bite. I can taste the finishing notes of the uh, white wine. This is delicious. The Sauvignon Blanc flavor even comes out. It's definitely cooked out. Um, absolutely delicious. You must make this. You gotta try this soup. Absolutely delicious. French onion soup. I'm gonna try it with my bread here. Mm. Wonderful. You can taste the parsley and that extra virgin olive oil, which is taking this to the next level. Definitely make my soup. I really appreciate all you people for staying subscribers. It means so much to me. Leave me a comment. If you have a question or you want to say something, please definitely leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you guys so much for all your help, all your support. Um, I love you all. Thank you. Hey. love these layers. You can see these onions. So wonderful. That's great. <laughs>